Hi guys, uh, welcome again. Uh, it's Ashwin here, and I'm coming to you with a tutorial on how to root your BlackBerry Playbook. And uh, the requirement for this would be that you need to have uh, the OS version 2.0.0.4869 or 1.0.8.4985. How do you check your OS version? Tap the cog uh, icon over there and uh, about general and you can see the OS version. In case you're not on either of these uh, OSs and you're on something newer like the 1.0.8.6067 or 2.0.0.6149 please click the link that pops up right now and that will take you to my tutorial on downgrading the OS so that you can jailbreak it. Okay, so uh, now the first things that you need to get done in order to downgrade I mean in order to root the playbook is you need to download two software link one that's gonna take you to Dingleberry and link two that's gonna take you to Blackberry desktop software so you can pause the video over here get both link one and two downloaded and get right back to this okay now that you've got both the software downloaded uh, what you need to do right now is go ahead and select uh, storage and sharing Make sure file sharing and Wi-Fi sharing are on and turn the password off. Okay, and then go into security and go to development mode and make sure it's turned on. It's going to ask you for a password, set something easy for you to remember, so I'm going to set it as QWERTY. So you've done that, we are done with what, what needs to be done with the playbook is done so moving on to the PC now okay so this is the folder this is how it looks once you've downloaded Dingleberry and extracted it so what we need to do is we need to right click on Dingleberry run as administrator and uh, just click continue it's gonna give you the same things it's gonna tell you the same things that, is, that I just told you turn on file sharing Wi-Fi sharing password protect off and all that click continue so the IP address is what we saw in the development mode that is 169.254.0.1 that's the default one and my password is QWERTY as I told you guys and then hit jailbreak okay so now it says complete play, press continue so I'm gonna hit continue so the next thing we need to do is go back to the Blackberry desktop software click on device and then backup and here under under this select backup type custom selected data only <coughs> and make sure you select settings I mean it's advisable that you have all the other data backed up before this uh, right now for this tutorial you just need to back up settings alone and hit backup so this is gonna take about you know a minute or two max okay so now the backup is done once it's done just hit close and after this go back to Dingleberry and you see an option over here saying backup file click on choose select your latest backup file click open okay and now you're gonna uh, go back to the desktop software device restore make sure that you select Dingleberry and select device data and settings and then from there just select settings alone and hit restore and click yes so you just have to wait for the restore uh, to finish the restore is complete so uh, you just need to disconnect the device once unplug the cable from the device hit close plug the cable back in now the device will boot back up so give it a minute or two don't worry about it any, any error prompts you get just click close just don't worry about that right now the device is booting back up once the playbook is back up 
just enter your passcode sorry make sure that you have the development mode turned on it's gonna ask you for your password okay leave it as it is and unlock it on the desktop software as well so right now, right now click continue on dingleberry and hit finished enough you can uh, click on dingle ssh and you can hit connect okay so you can see that it says authorized authenticated sent ssh key running ssh on playbook and over here you get a hashtag this means that the playbook is jailbroken so okay guys that's pretty much it for this tutorial uh, you have a uh, jailbroken slash rooted uh, blackberry playbook right now so the next thing that you're supposed to be doing is getting android market installed on it so if you need help with that click on the link that pops up right now and that will take you straight to my next tutorial on how to get android market installed so if you have any kind of questions whatsoever or if you have any you're running into any kind of uh, issues with routing leave a comment on this video or send me a message or you hit me up on Twitter at Cursed Forever. That's C U R S E D, uh, the number four E V A. I'll make sure I get back to you as quick as possible, preferably within 24 hours. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys. You know the drill. Hit like, hit subscribe if you like what you're seeing. Uh, once again, thanks a lot for watching. You guys have a great day. Bye bye now.